everyone, I'm Anna and welcome back to my channel Everything Enchanting. I did a mini beauty haul this month uh, for the season winter. So today I'm going to show you what beauty products I have got for myself. I've got beauty products uh, from the superstores. I also did online shopping from the body shop website as well as the self regions. So without further ado, let me show you what I've got in my beauty parcels. The first one is Hello Eye Makeup Remover Pads. It removes all eye makeup including waterproof mascara, micellar technology with aloe vera. Fragrance free eye makeup remover pads gently remove your makeup including waterproof mascara. They are suitable for all skin types and have been dermatologically tested. Hypoallergenic, developed to minimize allergenic potential, fragrance free, wipe gently over closed eyes, avoiding dead contact with eye for use on external eye only. So yeah, uh, it contains 30 pads. Before I run out of my YouTube house eye makeup remover, I thought of having a backup. Most of the time, I use simple Vaseline to remove the eye makeup and it works like charm. However, we must keep our dedicated product for this purpose. So I purchased this fragrance-free eye makeup remover pads for my sensitive eyes. I'll use these pads and uh, we'll come up with this review soon. Now let me show you what products I have got from the self regis site. The first product is Paula's Choice Defense Night Moisturizer. The brand says a sheer radiance boosting night cream that primes skin against pollution while you sleep. Infused with wild cherry and flaxseed, it claims to be a soothing lightweight lotion, helps minimize visible signs of aging and neutralizes daily environmental damage. It is suitable for all skin types. I was looking for a good night cream for my combination skin and this moisturizer seemed good to me, price and ingredients wise. I have never tried any product from this brand Paula's Choice, so yes, I do have a high expectation from this night cream. Let's see if it works great for my skin. The next product, the Biosense 100% Squalene Oil. I've heard so much about this squalene oil, so I was really interested to give it a try. So when I spotted this product on the side, self bridges, I was like, okay, let me try this product, let me buy this. More often than not, facial oils do break out my skin. So yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, scared as well as excited to give it a try because I don't know if it will help my skin or will cause the breakouts. Let's see what it does actually. It's a 100% squalene oil, sugarcane derived oil to hydrate body, face and hair. I'll use it on my uh, face only, not on the body. And uh, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic for all skin types including sensitive skin. So yeah, that's the reason, non-comedogenic, that's the reason I bought this product. So let's see if it works great for my skin or not. Now let me show you the beauty products that hair and the skincare products that I have got from uh, the body shop. First, start with the hair care products. The first product, Strawberry Clear Gloss Shampoo. <laughs> the strawberry one, I always, always wanted to try, you know, this app, the rig, uh, the shampoo. So yeah, I got this, this one. I have never tried this shampoo before, so I am super excited to give this a try. My hair is becoming dull day by day. I hope this glossy shampoo brings back the shine to my hair. Fingers crossed. Open it. Smells like shampoo. Mm, I have to uh, say that uh, the body shop products smell really nice. Okay, the next shampoo. The body shop shea butter richly replenishing shampoo. For dry hair prone to damage. Let me open this too. Hmm. 
I did try this shampoo long back in 2018. This was my husband's favorite hair cleanser. I tried this shampoo only for a couple of days because I was using other shampoos for my hair at that time. I'll use this Shea Butter shampoo soon and share its detailed review. Do you have dry and damaged hair? Then stay tuned to know my take on this product. The next one is the Body Shop Fuzzy Green Tea Replenishingly Purifying Shampoo. Okay, it's for normal hair. Uh, my husband has normal hair, so oily to normal hair. So yeah, this one is for us, for both of us. Let's move it. Hmm. Nice red scent. Now I love using purifying clay mask for my skin. Then why not use the same purifying product for my hair? I'm so interested in trying out this green tea shampoo. The next one is okay, so this is our go-to shampoo. Ginger and Riandruff shampoo. Shampoo for dry flaky scalp. My husband and I have dandruff prone itchy scalp, so we need to wash our hair with an anti dandruff shampoo regularly. Although I keep trying out other anti dandruff shampoos, nothing can match this one. Pick it if you have severe dandruff issues. I'll share what I don't like about this product in my review post. If you're curious to know more about it, then stay tuned, buddy. I didn't buy any conditioner this time because I am yet to finish my kind conditioners. Along with these shampoos, I also bought two shower gels from the body shop. The first one is the mango shower gel um, <clears throat> with mango essence. Mm. That's so good. I like using shower gels, I have already tried a few shower gels from this brand, so I was excited to give their other shower gels a try also. I picked mango because it's my favorite fruit and I like fruity fragrance products. And the next one is the Satsuma shower gel. Again, I have used this product previously as well and this is my husband's favorite, so yeah, I have to get this one. Uh, for both of us. Mango one has a sweet fragrance and this one is kindly spicy and refreshing. Satsuma shower gel is the best seller in their shower gel range. This is my husband's favorite shower gel, so I purchased it again for us. Well, I have used this body wash previously and loved its refreshing aroma. So these are the body shop products that I have got for both of us. The next product that I have got for my dry skin is this Nivea uh, body lotion. It's uh, extra rich moisturizing and rich for dry skin. I have super dry flaky skin. My hands and feet are super super dry. Nivea lotion for dry skin is a rich creamy lotion that has been specially formulated to provide long lasting moisture. Dry skin is left feeling smooth and smooth. Of course, typical uh, Nivea fragrance. My skin is super dry, especially my hands and feet. Oh god, the skin of my hands looks so aged. I hope this lotion takes care of all my dry skin issues this winter. The next product is this food cream from the brand The Palmers. So it says that pure cocoa butter enriched with vitamin E and other natural emollients provides a intensive care for fit. This unique formulation moisturizes, softens and smooths even the roughest dry skin. The addition of soothing ferment or revitalizes so tired feet. Exactly what I need right now. 
as I said before, my feet needs special attention during winter. So this time I purchased this foot cream from this brand. I like Palmer's products. I tried their lip balm and coconut body oil and they both performed well on my skin. Hence I do have high expectations from this foot cream as well. Well, my last two products have been playing an important role ever since the lockdown started. It has been 11 months since I've visited any salon. I've been doing an you know, all threading and waxing at home using the strips. So yeah, I got this strip this time. The first one is Boot Smooth Care Wax Strips for sensitive skin with aloe vera and sweet almond oil, especially for face. The brand says we have enriched our wax strips with an extract of aloe vera and sweet almond oil to leave your skin feeling soft, moisturized and smooth to touch. We have also included a handful of our soothing finishing wipes to help you remove any of that unwanted wax. And the second one is Wet Wax Strips with Easy Gel for Sensitive Skin Face. The product says our gel formula with easy gel flows around and actively grips the shortest hairs, not the skin. Removes the hairs from the root for up to 28 days of smoothness. So it gives confidence to achieve great first time results even for those inexperienced with wax strips. Can you see that? The gel type. What's the difference? Let me open both of this. Let me open one, okay, from this boots one. Okay. So this is the boots and this is the wit. With gel formulation. So yeah, I have tried both of these and they work great, you know. So if you are looking for your wax strips, good ones. So you can give this a try because I have tried this yesterday <laughs> and um, for my upper lip area, chin and upper lip, I use this, you know, uh, both of this. Uh, they are very effective at removing the hair. So yes, yeah, so these are the products that I have got for myself as well as for my husband. Uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video. Have you tried any of these uh, featured products? If yes, then what's your experience? Share with me in the comment section below. I'll come up with a new video soon. Until then, stay beautiful, stay healthy.